Hi, and welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 5. This video presentation is going to be on Proposition 16 of Book 5. Before we begin, we need to look at some definitions. If A to B and C to D are two ratios, and if they are equal, then the four magnitudes A, B, C, D are said to be proportional. A and C are called the antecedents, B and D are called the consequents. Again, let's have two ratios A to B and C to D. Then the definition of the alternate ratios, we swap the B and the C and we have A to C and B to D. So these two ratios are the alternate ratios of these two. So let's look at the proposition. If we have two ratios, a to b and c to d, and if they are equal, then the alternate ratios, a to c, b to d, will also be equal. So this is the proposition stated very simply. So let's prove this. This is our starting conditions, a to b is equal to c to d. Now we're going to create two new lines, E and F, that are equal multiples of A and B respectively. Two new lines, G and H, that are different equal multiples of C and D respectively. Now we have that EF is equal to AB because E and F are equal multiples of A and B. That comes from Proposition 15. So again, since E and F are equal multiples of A and B, E and F is equal to A to B. Now A to B is equal to C to D. So if these two ratios are equal, and the two ratios E and F, A and B are also equal, that gives us that E and F, E to F, the ratio E to F is equal to the ratio C to D. And that's just by substituting A to B with the C to D. G and H are equal multiples of C and D respectively. And as a consequence, again from Proposition 15, the ratio G to H is equal to the ratio C to D, which is stated right there. We have E to F is equal to C D, C D is equal to G H. So therefore, E to F and G to H are both equal. So these two ratios are both equal. Now according to Proposition 14, if we have two ratios that are equal, this implies that if G is greater than E, then H would be greater than F. If G was equal to E, H would be equal to F. If G was less than E, H would be less than F. Or in other words, it would satisfy this equation. That comes from Proposition 14. But what are E, G, F, and H? Well, E is equal to MA, G is equal to NC, F is MB, and H is ND. This formula here should look a little familiar to you, but if not, it is from definition 5 of what it means for two ratios to be equal. If this equation holds for all m and n for the ratios a to c and b to d, if this holds true for all m and n, then the ratio a to c is equal to b to d. That is the definition. It comes from definition 5. So here we have just shown that a to c is equal to b to d. The ratios a to c and b to d are the alternate ratios of a to b and c to d. So here we have shown, we start off with two ratios that are equal. The alternate ratios are also equal. And that concludes this video presentation. To see the next presentation, just click the next button.